This is the 2008 AP Calculus AB free response question number two. The question reads, concert tickets went on sale at noon, t equals zero, and were sold out within nine hours. The number of people waiting in line to purchase tickets at time t is modeled by a twice differentiable function L for t between zero to nine hours. Values of L of t at various times t are shown in the table above. Part A says, use the data in the table to estimate the rate at which the number of people waiting in line was changing at 5.30 p.m. t equals 5.5. Show the computations that led to your answer and indicate units of measure. In order to find the rate, we must look at the slope. However, if we look at the given table above, we see that there is no data given at 5.5 hours. Therefore, we must approximate the rate using the times that are closest to 5.5 hours, which in this case are t equals 4 and t equals 7. So using the slope formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, we substitute with L of 7 minus L of 4 over 7 minus 4. That gives us 150 minus 126 over 3, which is 8. Since the question is asking for the rate, the unit would be people per hour. Part B says, use a trapezoidal sum with three subintervals to estimate the average number of people waiting in line during the first four hours that tickets were on sale. The most important part in this question, in my opinion, would be realizing that since the question is asking for the average number of people during the first four hours, we divide the sum of the trapezoids by four. The question tells us to use three intervals, so we add up the trapezoids from t equals zero to one, one to three, and three to four. The area of a trapezoid is one half times the height times the sum of the base one and base two. The height represents the difference in the time intervals and the basis represents the number of people at the time intervals. For example, for the first interval, which is between t equals zero and one, we do L of zero plus L of one over two times the difference in the times, which is one. Repeat these steps for the next two intervals and divide the sum by four to get 155.25 people. Part C says, for t between zero to nine hours, what is the fewest number of times at which L prime of t must equal zero? Give a reason for your answer. Since the question told us earlier that the function is twice differentiable, the mean value theorem and the intermediate value theorem apply. We are looking for when L prime of t will be zero, which will occur any time when L prime of t changes signs. So since we are not given the function of L prime of t, we will find it by calculating the slope between each interval. For example, for the interval between t equals zero and one, we find the slope by calculating change in y over change in x. L of one minus L of zero over one minus zero gives us 36. Thus, the MVT implies that there is a L prime of t within the interval zero to one that is positive. Repeat these steps for all six intervals, which are zero to one, one to three, three to four, four to seven, seven to eight, and eight to nine. The sign of L prime of t changes at t equals three from positive to negative, also at t equals four from negative to positive, and finally at t equals seven from positive to negative. Thus, by the IVT, L prime of t equals zero at least three times. Part D says, 
the rate at which tickets were sold for T between 0 to 9 hours is modeled by R of T equals 550 T e to the negative T over 2 tickets per hour. Based on the model, how many tickets were sold by 3 p.m.? T equals 3 to the nearest whole number. The question gives us the function of the rate at which the tickets were sold. Therefore, in order to find how many tickets were sold at a certain time, we must take the integral of the rate function. The question is asking for how many tickets were sold by 3 hours, not at 3 hours. Therefore, our boundaries are from 0 to 3. So using a calculator, we press F3, option 2, which is integrate, and we input the function 550t e to the negative t over 2, and then comma our variable and our interval, 0 to 3. And then we approximate, and that gives us 972.784. However, the question tells us to round to the nearest whole number, so the answer is 973 tickets.